Hello, my lovely Virgo. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. We are here today for a tarot love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And of course, for any of you lovely folks dealing with a Virgo romantically. This is a timeless reading today, Virgo. Whenever you click into this video is when you're meant to hear the messages. But I do like to remind you it is a general reading. It may or may not resonate and you are more than welcome to take what works and leave the rest. Now, before I get to it, I do want to remind you my Etsy shop is up and running. If you would like to purchase a tarot card reading from me, you can head on over to Etsy and see what I'm currently offering for tarot readings. And I will put the link in the description box below this video. So without further ado, we're going to jump in today. I'm going to be using the Crystal Visions Tarot. We will start by pulling three cards to see the general energy of what is coming toward you in love. And then I am going to dig into the messages. So let's get to it. Okay, let's get to it. Oh my goodness, my goodness. So did you guys see how this card came jumping out? Look at that, you guys. Wow. So Virgo, first card jumping out of the deck, and it's a big one, the tower. This is energy of some sort of huge shakeup coming in, and it's going to be directly impacting your love life. The tower card shakes things up, it can feel a little bit uncomfortable. It creates big changes, but ultimately what it does is it creates space for something better to come in. If I'm being honest with you, Virgo, typically when I see the tower card showing up in a reading, it means that there is something in your life that needs to end, something that's no longer serving you. And if you're being honest with yourself, you probably know what this is. And the tower comes in to kind of push that situation along and for those of you who, I don't know, maybe you've been dragging your feet, you haven't been making a decision, you haven't been making a choice, the tower kind of forces us to make those decisions, if you know what I mean. So I do feel like there could be some sort of big shakeup happening right now related to love. And it's probably going to feel uncomfortable at first because change is generally uncomfortable. But there's also this sense of making way for something better to come in. Okay, so let's see what follows that. What comes next? Tell me what else is coming toward Virgo right now, please. Oh my gosh, the cards. Okay, seven of cups. So this is a card of having options available, but feeling a little bit overwhelmed and confused by the options. And so what this tells me here is that there's a lot of change and a lot of uncertainty that I see you experiencing right now when it comes to love, Virgo, okay? It definitely looks like whether you're single or whether you're in a relationship, things are shifting and changing. It's gonna feel confusing at times. And for some of you with that seven of cups, I see that you have a significant decision that you need to make, but it's not gonna be an easy decision. And with the Seven of Cups, sometimes what happens is we feel like, well, we might not feel this way, but the Seven of Cups can represent a bit of an illusion where we might not have all the information that we need to make a decision, and that can make it hard to actually figure out how to move forward, okay? Let's see. Let's get one more card about what is coming toward Virgo right now. Let's get one more card. And then the Queen of Wands. Okay, so fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is actually positive because it looks like what follows the Tower and the Seven of Cups is a sense of passion and purpose. And what I'm getting here is this energy, Virgo, of finding yourself again, finding your passion, finding what lights you up, finding what brings you joy after a challenge, okay? Now this is a love reading, right? So when we're looking at something like this, this could be a breakup. It could be that some of you right now are considering leaving a relationship. It could also be that some of you are dealing with a person who's being very wishy-washy and confusing about their feelings with the Seven of Cups. You might feel like you've been waiting around for this person to choose you and this person has not been stepping up. They haven't been making a choice. They haven't been making a decision. So what I see here is that you're dealing with this energy romantically between you and your person where it's confusing and you don't know where you stand. Either you or your person might be considering ending things or something has to change. Like it doesn't necessarily have to be that things are going to end between you and this person. But I feel like the main message that I'm seeing for you today, Virgo, is that something needs to shift right now. You cannot keep things as they are. Something needs to change in order to allow you to move forward in your love life. And so this could be with your current partner, whoever you're in a relationship with. I feel for others of you, this is somebody who you've been dealing with where you're just kind of confused about their feelings and what's going on. You might be trying to figure out where you stand. Are we together? Are we not? Are we committed? Are we not? And so you're navigating these questions and trying to figure out what to do, okay? But there's definitely gonna be something that shakes things up 
and in a way forces you to confront this confusion so that you can get the clarity that you need about this connection between you and your person, okay? Now, I do think you get the clarity you need because of the Queen of Wands, which is a very positive energy, but I think the pathway to the Queen of Wands energy is going to involve some shakeups, some change, and the need to get clarity about where you stand, okay? So here's what we're gonna do for the rest of the reading today. I wanna look at this person, whoever this represents for you, okay? Current love, somebody who you're kind of seeing, maybe even for some of you, there's a connection to a past person. However it connects for you, we're gonna look at that person, okay? Then we're gonna look at you, Virgo, and then we'll look at the potential outcome. So let's kind of see where we're at with this and let's start by getting some general energy for your person. Tell me about the person who Virgo is dealing with. What's going on for them? Tell me about this person, please. The lovers, interesting, okay. Um, so there are feelings here. They do love you, it looks like Virgo, but it also feels like they have some choice or decision they need to make, all right? This is interesting. The lovers is about options. Do I go this way, do I go that way? So they love you, but they also feel like there's some sort of choice or decision that they need to make related to this connection. Interesting. Tell me more about this person, please. King of Cups, wow. Interesting. The energy is like not quite what I expected to see so far for your person because the King of Cups is about love, emotional intimacy, somebody who has their heart open. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There's a lot of love here. So part of me is like, where is this confusing energy coming from? Okay, maybe you're the one who's confused. We're gonna get there, Virgo, we'll get there. Tell me more about this person, please. Let's see. And then the Ten of Wands, but they're stressed. They feel like they've got the weight of the world on their shoulders. I mean, here's the thing. I'm kind of looking at this Virgo and I'm like, I wonder if what's going on is that you're dealing with somebody who loves you and has feelings for you, but is very stressed by something that they've got going on in their life, some sort of burden, some sort of responsibility. And again, just kind of take it as it connects. But they've got a lot going on and it almost feels like the stress of whatever they are feeling or going through is impacting the connection with you. And so it's not that they don't love you as far as I can see here, but sometimes I think what happens is when we get really stressed, we might find like, I just can't be emotionally present for my partner. Or if they're really stressed, they might be getting overwhelmed to the point where they're like, I just gotta push Virgo away, right? And so even though they have feelings for you, I see that there's something going on for them that's really weighing heavily Virgo. And they might be, um, I don't know. Yeah, I just feel like disconnecting a little bit because of the stress, even though they love you. Okay, that's interesting. Let's see what they're feeling. What is this person feeling? Tell me what this person is feeling. Four of Wands, wow. This is like wild to me, Virgo, because so many of these cards indicate that your person is into you and they love you, but they're stressed. And it's a little bit, again, different than what I would have expected because the tower is like, there's a big shakeup that creates confusion. And so it's like, there is this energy of feeling confused. But when I look in terms of the emotions that this person has for you, they have feelings. So it could just be that the stress of what they're going through is really making them feel overwhelmed and they might be struggling to manage that stress. And that's the thing as well, like depending on what this stressor is, stress is awful, right? Stress is terrible to deal with and it can really like push people away. I don't know if you've ever had this before where, you know, you're in a loving relationship and you get super stressed and you end up just pushing your partner away even though you love them, but you're so overwhelmed that like you're not really acting your best self. That's the kind of energy that I'm getting here. Okay, uh, tell me more about what this person is feeling. Wow, Ace of Wands, but they want a fresh start, okay? I wonder if, um, I wonder if what happens here, you guys, is there's some sort of shakeup that really impacts your connection and it's stressful. And at first you're like, I don't really know what this means. I don't know what's gonna happen between the two of us, but you end up figuring it out and sorting it out. So maybe something happens and it's like, I don't know, is this gonna mean we break up? I don't know, I don't really see that. I feel like there's a new beginning. I feel like there's passion. I feel like there's love. I feel like there's intimacy and connection here. So yeah. Something could be getting shaken up here, but I don't think it's changing your person's feelings for you. Let's get one more for what they're feeling. Holy shit, Virgo. I mean, seriously, this person to me looks like they're head over heels in love with you. Okay, 
Um, wow. I mean, water energy again, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Knight of Cups. How are they feeling? I just want you to take this in, Virgo, okay? How are they feeling? The Four of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. These are actually three cards that people really want to see in a love reading, okay? Especially when it comes to feelings. These are really good cards. And then your person also had the lovers. They also had the King of Cups. And so I really just feel like this person loves you. Even if there's stressors, even if there's a big change kind of shaking your relationship or shaking up your lives, I really don't think that it's impacting the love that they have for you. And so initially when I pulled the tower and the seven of cups, I was like, is this person being wishy-washy? Are they uncertain about you? As we get into the specifics of their energy, that's not what the issue is for them. We're gonna look at you in a moment, but for them, they're stressed. Maybe they're stressed because of whatever this tower represents, but it doesn't change the fact that they love you here. So that's very interesting. It's a good thing, I think. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. What actions are they taking? What actions are this person taking? Seven of Pentacles, they're being patient. They're being intentional, okay? So like I said, there could be something shaking things up within their life or within the connection between the two of you. I don't think they're going anywhere though. Here's the thing, Virgo. I don't think that this person is like, oh, things are stressful. I'm ending things with Virgo. They might push you away a little bit and you might be picking up on the fact that they're stressed and overwhelmed. But I also feel like they're looking at it and they're like, you know what? I gotta be patient. This is a bit of a rough patch. The tower energy is creating that change. But I know if I stay the course that Virgo and I will be fine. So they are definitely sticking around and they're being patient and they're also being intentional about the next steps that they're taking. So they're looking at it and being like, OK, so we're in a bit of this heavy energy right now. What do we do to get out of it? What do we do to navigate it? And what do we do to move forward? Uh, what other actions are this person taking, please? What other actions? Nine of Swords. They're trying to deal with their anxiety and stress. Because like I said, the tower energy is big energy and it creates change. I think as humans, we don't really like change. Generally, it's uncomfortable. And so I see this person is trying to manage their anxiety about this situation because maybe there's part of them that's feeling nervous about the fact that everything's changing and shifting and they might be feeling nervous about the potential implications for your relationship because this person is very emotionally invested in you given all of the other energy Virgo and so there's part of them that I think feels a little bit nervous because with all of this change and transition they might be worried and you know kind of feeling a little bit confused about how that might impact your relationship moving forward so I do see them having a bit of a tendency to be getting up in their head and overthinking which honestly makes sense to me given some of the stress and the big change that we've seen in your reading but I see them trying to manage that anxiety and to not let that anxiety overtake them uh what other actions are this person taking what other actions this is good you guys knight of wands they're trying to charge forward right they don't want to be stuck in this situation, so they're probably going to be doing things to actively problem solve with you and find ways to get unstuck from this challenging energy. So that's honestly a little bit reassuring, because when I looked at the overall energy initially for you, Virgo, I was like, I don't know. Are you dealing with somebody who doesn't know how they feel? Are you dealing with somebody who's keeping you as an option but not a priority? That's not actually what I see. I see more the energy of a big stressor and change impacting your person and or your relationship, but I also see somebody who really loves you. So in terms of them, they've got strong feelings for you and they're trying to manage this tougher energy in a way that allows the two of you to move forward, okay? So that's what I see for them. So let's look at you, Virgo. Let's see what's going on for you, my loves. Okay, good. First card out for you, Knight of Swords. So it looks like you're also quite motivated to move forward and move past the situation. That's nice. The Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands, both of these are very like action momentum based cards. You can see it in the imagery. And so I feel there's a level of motivation for both you and your person to move past the situation. Uh, tell me more about Virgo, please. Tell me more about Virgo. Good, Three of Pentacles. So you're looking at this and you're like, okay, so there's change. There's a big shakeup. How do we get through it? We have each other's back. The Three of Pentacles is about teamwork and collaboration and approaching a situation from a sense of partnership and teamwork. And so I feel like there's a little bit of advice here where it's like, look, okay, there's big energy. That tower card, it came flying out. First card in your reading today, Virgo. Big changes, big shakeup. How do you and your person get through it? 
you put up a united front and you work together as a team. That's what's going to allow you to navigate this, okay? You might also be providing support for your person and they might be providing support for you. Tell me more about Virgo right now, please. Judgment, good, okay. You're keeping your eye on the prize. This is good. Judgment to me within a love reading is about aligning with our higher purpose and ultimately attracting in a partnership that aligns with that. To me, it's about compatibility. It's about attracting in somebody with similar values, beliefs, all that kind of stuff. And it speaks to a sense of compatibility. So here's the thing. Even though there's a shakeup right now, I think when it gets down to it, you and this person have compatibility. You have shared values. You have shared beliefs. So even if things are getting shaken up, and again, like it could be a stressor that your person is going through individually. It could be a stressor that you're going through individually, or it could be a stressor that you're both going through. But at the end of the day, if you have that compatibility, if you have that alignment and you see that shared potential and vision for the future, I don't see this as being something that's going to tear you down. I see this as being something that potentially makes your relationship much stronger if you can navigate this, okay? Uh, so what are you feeling? What? Okay, let's take that. Good. King of Pentacles, you're feeling stable, secure, and grounded. That's positive, okay? So you're amidst the chaos, <laughs> amidst the chaos here, Virgo, you're doing everything that you can to stay grounded. And with the King of Pentacles showing up in your emotions, I feel this is actually super important because uh, first of all, it's your energy, right? King of Pentacles is you, basically. It tells me that you're not giving in to emotional decision-making. And I think when we become stressed, it's very easy to react emotionally, react quickly without thinking something through. But for you, I think you're recognizing you're in the middle of something stressful and you're like, I'm not gonna make any emotionally reactive decisions from that place. I'm gonna stay stable and I'm gonna stay grounded. So there's a beautiful sense of maturity in terms of how you're handling this emotionally. What else is Virgo feeling? The sun, <laughs> okay. Honestly, I, I think you and your person really love each other. I think they make you happy, you make them happy. You just gotta get through whatever this stress is right now, okay? What else for the feelings? Page of Swords, yeah, okay. So I think you're also very curious about your person's feelings, what they're going through. I really feel your energy coming through as very collaborative, wanting to work through this, wanting to connect, wanting to understand your person's perspective, asking a lot of questions, um, giving them space to share their feelings, sharing your own feelings. And so it really does feel like with you and whoever this person is, there's a sense of coming together and becoming stronger because of this, okay? So what actions are you taking? What actions are Virgo taking? The world, that's good. You're wrapping up the cycle, right? You're like, okay, so we've gone through this tough moment right now, but let's find a way to move forward. Let's wrap up that chapter, okay? And let's start to write the next chapter. What other actions are Virgo taking? What other actions? Page of Pentacles, good. Again, your energy is very much about reaching out to your person, offering support, offering reassurance, and letting them know that you're not going anywhere given what is going on. It's not making you run away. You're here with them, okay? The two of you are a united front. That's not, I don't know if I've ever even used those words in a reading, united front, but they're really coming through strongly for you, Virgo, today within this reading. Let's get one more. And then the moon. So what actions are you taking? Uh, you're getting everything out in the open. You're talking things through. I think that it's so important right now between you and your person that you're not leaving anything unsaid. You're communicating. You're discussing this situation. You're discussing how you want to handle it. And there might even be some fears and anxieties that you're experiencing with that moon energy. And I feel like you know, it's interesting to me that your person had the nine of swords and you have the moon. I think this is a recognition that this situation is stressful for both of you. And this situation might introduce some anxiety for both of you. And it's about being able to still, you know, communicate about that with each other and be vulnerable because I think both of you are going through it. And it's about being able to emotionally support each other through that situation. Okay. So what is the potential outcome here? What? Oh, <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, we had another card jumping out, you guys. It's a big one, Seven of Swords. So what is the potential outcome here? This is a, a tougher energy. So it's a little bit of a warning, I think, for you, Virgo, to keep in mind. If, like, how do I want to say this? 
Um, the Seven of Swords, let's talk about that. The Seven of Swords is a card of, um, you know, like self-sabotage. It can be trickery. It can be deceit. I feel like this card jumping out is saying this is big, okay? Like, don't ignore what's going on here, Virgo. The tower is big energy, okay? It does have the potential to really shake up relationships. And if your relationship, you know, is not strong or if you guys get drawn into the stress of things, it can pull you apart, okay? And this is maybe why I kept hearing, like, you need to have a united front because I feel like whatever this tower is, and I'm not saying this to scare you, you guys, at all, but it's like a big energy like the tower because it creates so much stress and uncertainty um, and because each of us reacts differently, it can, you know, like, have you ever seen like a really good couple that broke up and you're like, oh my gosh, why did you guys break up? And it's like, they just went through something really, really stressful and the stress of it got to them. That's what you need to watch out for in this situation, because it does look like as much as you guys love each other, this could feel pretty stressful. And I think both of you need to be mindful of any sort of tendency to self-sabotage within this situation. Uh, let's get another one, please. Page of Wands, okay but there is still love. There is still passion. Like I said, the issue here is not a, a lack of love and passion. I feel like if you can get past the seven of swords, you can get back to that playful, passionate energy. Let's get one more. And then the five of wands, but there is a little bit of that tension and that struggle right now. Okay. So it definitely looks like you're in the midst of things. It does look like something's getting shaken up and it does look like it's introducing stress into your relationship. What I do see here is two people who love each other. But I also think that this tower is going to introduce some anxieties and fears because, again, change is scary. We don't like it. So you might be having some doubts and you might be wondering, you know, what does this mean for us and what does this mean for our future? Both of you, I think, need to find ways to manage that stress and anxiety and work through it because with a situation like this, as I just said, there is the potential to be pull, pulled apart if you're not able to navigate the turbulent waters together. Watch out for self-sabotage. I also feel like with the five of wands, there could be conflict. And I kind of want to say like, you know, fight fair, <laughs> fight fair, hash it out, have those conversations. And at the end of the day, if the two of you are committed to each other, it's like, how do you get back to that page of wands? How do you get back on the same page essentially as you move through this? So yeah, it's big energy. It's tough. But I just, I feel a lot of love between you and your person. So even though there might be some uncertainty and doubt here and some anxiety, I feel like when there's a love like this, you know, it's not easy to pull people apart. So just be mindful of how the two of you are navigating this tension and this stress right now. Um, but I do also see two people who are, are very motivated to make it work and to love each other. So just watch out for that anxiety, that stress, those self-sabotaging tendencies, because those do have the potential to come up as well. So think about how you might want to navigate that, okay? So anyway, food for thought, Virgo. I'm going to leave it there. If you enjoyed this reading, please do give me a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell. You can head on over to Etsy if you're interested in getting a tarot reading from me. The link is in the description box below this video. And of course, I wish you so much love and so much happiness. And we'll talk soon. Bye, guys.